gentlemen, and welcome to this very special celebration and gathering here for the marriage of Zia and Liza. And as Henry VIII told each one of his wives, I shall not keep you very long. <laughs> first, first, Russia and I would like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for coming here to help celebrate the Liebermans, uh, Liza, and the Hassans, Zia, and to grace this occasion. Without you, this occasion wouldn't be what it is. It's you guys and women and gals and kids who make this what it is. Uh, it's only because of you, really. As I see the list of people here from uh, out of town, I'm amazed and deeply touched at the love, caring, warmth that you've shown by coming here and gracing us with your presence. Um, you've come from Japan. London, Toronto, of course Washington DC, let's hear it from the Washington DC crowd. Clearwater, Florida, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Austin. Oh, I didn't know there were so many Boston people here. Uh, Boston, Boston crowd. Charlotte, Orlando, New York City, Grand Fork, North, Grand Fork, North Dakota, Chicago, Phoenix. Well, that's the only ones I knew about. If I've missed any, anybody from, uh, sorry about that. India. India. I didn't know we had people coming from India. Okay. And and least we think that the out of towners are dominating the party. There are also a few locals here from the great city of Minneapolis. So let's hear it from the Minneapolis Minneapolitans. This is really a city that Rashna and I have grown to love in the last Two visits for me, three for Rashna. And it's really the warmth and hospitality that you all, shown, you all have shown, especially Tom and Amy and the Liebermans. Um, but then again, we've never visited here in the winter. <laughs> We'd like to keep it that way, probably. Uh, I'd like to spend a few minutes with you here talking about a young man who holds a very special place in Russia and my heart. And this young man was born in Washington, D.C. about 28 years ago. Like many parents, we wished him to have sort of the five most important things. One was a moral and ethical code, health, of course, goes without saying, intellectual prowess and creativity, an appreciation for the arts and music, and last but not least, a life partner who would become his soulmate. Zia, on points one through four, you got an A. On point five, I'd like to add an A++. While the formation of a moral and ethical code are more subtly noticeable, in the creativity front, it was pretty obvious that Zia excelled. At a very early age, when he was only eight or nine, he asked me if we could go to the local magic shop in Abbotsby in Silver Spring, uh, where Zia and Liza now live. And I said, magic shop? I mean, what would you want for the magic shop? I mean, no one in the family does magic. He said, well, I'd, I'd like to learn it. So, you know, so I took him there, and, uh, and he learned magic. And, and little did I know that he would advance to being, using his talents at proposing to Liza with this uh, 
some of you have seen on the YouTube, you know, the ring, floating ring uh, trick that he did. Um, as far as appreciation for the arts and music, this also started at a very early age, in elementary school actually. Um, and when he went to, to uh, school theater group and music, musical theater and uh, <clears throat> chorus and so on. And progressed over 20 some years to Zia's recent performances of his own compositions at the Hamilton in DC and at uh, Jam and Java in Virginia. So, as, as, as they said uh, in the old Virginia Slims ad, you've come a long way, baby. Uh, some of us are old enough to know what the Virginia Slims ad said, I guess. Um, so after graduating from high school, Zia attended American University and pursued many interests. Uh, including joining the a cappella group, and you've heard some uh, of the performers from that same group, the a cappella group at AU uh, yesterday. Um, and then somewhere along the line, he met Liza. And he used to talk about Liza, we had never met her. And finally, one, one day, you know, we, we did meet her. I can't actually pinpoint exactly where, but our first impression of Liza was she had this radiant smile that just captured the whole room, you know. When she smiled, everyone felt like really comfortable. Um, we, we also found out Liza has a very keen and subtle, but not too subtle, sense of humor. Um, and we, we think we know where she got that uh, sense of humor now from uh, uh, having spent some time with Tom and Amy. Um, and we found Liza is a really caring, loving, and warm person. She really, you know, from deep in her heart, cares for people, I think. And, and so, do, so does Zia. So that's, that's really how they, they fit right into with our family uh, from the very start and, and continues, you know, to do so today. We've seen the bond between Liza and Zia maturing over the years, and I think they really complement each other, uh, making up for the one's weaknesses with the other's strengths. Liza, as we've seen you through our many get-togethers and barbecues that are at our deck and the very many restaurants we've tried out together, I'm really, really glad you're a foodie like me. We even like the same genre and film, which is pretty amazing because not too many people uh, have the, the kind of taste I do in, in, in the film area. On a more serious note, um, we knew how a, a solid a family upbringing you had even before we met Tom and Amy. But it was all the more reinforced after we met them. We admire and appreciate your inner strength your warm smile, caring nature, and I'm deeply, deeply grateful that you turned out to be a wedding planner in disguise. <laughs> she even tells me now, you think, you think I forgot that? You know, she's got every detail down to the wire, you know. She's thought of everything. So, I'd like to just uh, offer a toast. Um, we, Liza and Zia, we wish both of you a very happy and prosperous life together as you begin your magical journey today as husband and wife. May God bless you both for an eternity. Amen. I did say I would not keep you long, and I meant half meant it. I'd like to close once again by thanking you for sharing this commencement of Liza and Zia's journey together. Mubaraki and Mazel Tov. <laughs>